Good morning, everybody. Go grab yourself a cup of coffee and be right back to check out my Monday morning vlog. Mm. Enjoy a coffee with me. Ah, well, this weekend was quite eventful. Started off actually on Friday when uh, I decided to do two re reviews for the weekend, all on Friday. Plus, I had to go into the city and visit my brother who's down from Canberra with his wife Margie. So let's shoot straight back to Friday and check out what happened when I arrived in the city. It's only, I've only got a little bit of video. Check out what happened. Hey everybody, I'm back in the city. I wonder what we're going to discover today. Well, first up, I can tell you that I'm actually here because I'm meeting up with my brother and my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law's an American. She's from Delaware. Uh, they live in Canberra and they're down here for a couple of days, been visiting my mum in the nursing home and doing a bit of running around. So we're gonna, I'm going to catch up with them, see if I can get them on camera. Uh, otherwise, we'll see what else we can discover here in the beautiful city of Melbourne. So we had a really good time at the Arbery Bar and Eatery, I think it's called. Uh, by the Yarra there. I've done a couple of food reviews from there already. It's a great little place right by you got the train Flinders Street station with the trains coming and going on one side the bar and walkthrough area Right next to it and then on the other side is the Yarra River and with all the boating activities um, people uh, canoeing Boats, ferry boats going up and down the river and on the other side of that is Southgate with all its shops, uh, retail, coffee, cafes, restaurants and of course lots of people now live in that whole area so there's just people everywhere. A lot of tourists as well because it's a bit of a touristy area but it's just a great place to hang out and a good place to meet up so Colin coming down from Canberra he was on the train just dropped in dropped off the train at Flinders Street station met us and got back on the train and uh, then flying out to catching the train and the airport bus out to the airport and back to Canberra that same night so that was a really good night so there you go that's my brother and my sister-in-law um, on um, Saturday, we we had a, a twilight market here in Cockatoo. About twice a year, they have a twilight market. Every month, they have a daytime market, but twice a year, they have a twilight market. So we decided to go down and check out the twilight market, and I got a bit of footage. Took the little GoPro with me. Come down to the post office, and all the decorations are out. Got to post some letters and check this out. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, Christmas cards. Now we're off to the market. Very much. Thank you. So this is eight dollars. Got potato all cooked up and a heap of what is it, coleslaw, Jenny? Bacon, mm. mayonnaise. Looks pretty good. Sure. Very happy and that's where we've come from. About 
nearly six o'clock in the evening here. The sun has still got a fair way before it sets. And looks like we're going to have a good night. There's all sorts of things happening down in there. Two chocolate Two brownies, hugs? please. Certainly. Did you want strawberries and cream with yes, that? Yes, please. Okie doke. What have we got? <coughs> so we salty. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, you rock. Can you give me that? Oh, that was good. Fantastic. I don't mind. Yeah, you can. I'm only doing like one or two of them. Brownie with strawberries and cream and lots of popcorn that is a very yummy looking brownie wow we're back at the location where we were before with more food can you believe it and we've got a whole bag of popcorn which is also very delicious hollywood sweet and salty kettle corn had a sample and it was wonderful great time Good time was had by all as we pass beyond the broad beans. That thing just there. So we had a great time at the market. The food was just fantastic, really fresh. And that brownie, that was something special. Could have eaten way too many of those brownies. Uh, strawberries and cream. It was totally delicious. <laughs> Quite scrumptious. Wow, and the popcorn we had that night when we came home, we opened up the popcorn and turned on Netflix, and uh, I don't know if you've seen it before, but we watched uh, Alan Partridge, which is uh, a British uh, comedy movie, and all a, cre a character created by Steve Coogan, and a very funny movie where he's a radio common a radio announcer. DJ and a whole story developed around this radio station and it was very funny if any of you Britishites have seen it I'd love to hear what you thought of it because we thought it was hilarious and a great movie to watch so it was called did I Alan Alan Partridge and the character is played by Steve Coogan a line that I really liked from that was talking about a butcher and it was yesterday's meat at today's prices yeah <laughs> that's the movie okay um, and yesterday we had a big clean up here I'll turn on my GoPro and show you what I'm looking at we cleaned up this whole area out here picked raspberries out here took a photo of that for Instagram and this is what I'm looking at currently down in there is the Carolina Reaper, growing happily away, ready for its unpleasant eventual outcome of, uh, yeah, me eating it. Luke, there's the Sony up there. There's a light. There's my coffee. And I've got two blue lights on the side. Blue lights sort of compensate a bit of daylight, so, hey. <laughs> So there you go everybody, that's what I'm looking at, but this is the area that we cleaned up. We've got all that out there, cleaned up there, the veggies are just growing like crazy. The weather has been so 
humid and warm. It's a little bit cooler this morning. And right behind me are the raspberries. Lots and lots of berry. Got a great big feed out of them last night. It'll only be another day or two and we'll get another feed. So there you go, guys. That's about it for today. I'm hoping to get back to Luke's. Uh, either maybe later today or tomorrow to uh, do some more videos of uh, some stuff that I've been able to get and that'll be a lot of fun to do it's always a lot of fun making those videos which I put out on Friday and never know what's going to happen Luke's got such a great sense of humor and yeah it's it's just a lot of fun and I have a similar set when when Luke and I do those videos we have a similar setup to what you can see here so there you go guys that was my weekend I hope you had a good one as well looking forward to Christmas we've started the Christmas decorations happening maybe uh, do them next week we've still got a little bit to do and other than that it's just going to be another regular week for me more food reviews to have got have got no idea what i will do next week there was a big thing this weekend with the kfc um bacon burger whatever it's called but i decided to do that salad shaker shaker salad whatever it's called and um, i might do that bacon burger for next weekend or bonus video throw in somewhere and because there's been so many people asking for it, I figure I probably should do it. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that vlog and uh, saw a bit of our weekend. And I hope you have a good week this coming week. See you all again very soon. Bye. Got to finish off my biscuit. Mm.